I want to tell you a story about training. My wife took a picture of me when we were in Beaver Creek, Colorado. And what she didn't know at the time was I had knocked myself out. I had fallen on the back of my head. I had bit my tongue. And here's what we do. Because I went the top of the Beaver Creek Mountain and I got on a hill that I had no business being on. And we got to the top. And I just rolled over the hill and did my best. And this is what companies and leaders do continually. We hire people, we bring them into the company and into our care. We put them at the top of the mountain with no training. And we say, Maria, Roanne, good luck. Don't hurt yourself and don't hurt the business. Don't do that to our people. When we hire people, it's our responsibility to train them on the way we want things to be done. Because at the end of the day, nature abhors a vacuum. And when we are not clear about how we want things done, inside of our company, then people just do the best that they could. And so I tell that story because it's just such a great example of I was ill-equipped to meet the challenge that was put in front of me. And I don't want to see you do that to our people. There's such an opportunity for us to do that better. And the results are pretty dramatic. I think there's so many people that don't invest in training. They say it's important, right? 83% of companies recognize they need it. Only 5% of companies have actually done it. According to a 2019 study by the Society for Human Resource Management, organizations that invest in employee training and development experience 24% higher profit margin than those that don't. This is an amazing payoff to invest and train our people. Please take it seriously. Here's another one. According to a 2016 report by the Association for Talent Development, companies that offer Comprehensive training programs have a 218% higher income per employee than companies without formalized training.